Silvana. Yes. You met <laughs> Stefan that day. Yeah. After so many years, all of a sudden this man appears in your life again. Yes. You meet at breakfast. Yes. He stayed there apparently for a few days in Argentina. A week. Yes. A week in Argentina. Then I understand both of you went to Europe. Two days before, I think, uh, he had to fly back because he had this exhibition in Monaco. He had to be there. And you followed him? No, he, I didn't say anything. He asked me, like, you know, you want to come with me? I said, yes. You said yes? Yes. So yeah. I went with him. And then we didn't stop for until now. That's, uh, Can I ask you one question? Very personal. You don't it, need to it answer. It depends. Okay. <laughs> Tell uh, me. After you uh, met. <coughs> yes. When was the first time he said to you, I love you? I don't remember exactly. I think it was really a few days after that. We said, he said, I, I feel like marrying you right away. And I said, me too. And uh, that was it. It was that. It was that click. It was that close. <laughs> it was, it yes. was that feeling, yes. that feeling all of a sudden, that seed that was planted yes. nine years ago yes. became a fruit at the time you met. Mm -hmm. And a few days later, you said, both of you agreed. Yeah. And you felt, let's get married. Yes. But the coincidence oh. is that two months before, then after talk, we talk, we talk, he said, you know, I thought that was it, that my life, that what I really wanted for myself doesn't exist. So I thought, I, he said, uh, I'm going to do, I have a nice life, I'm going to have friends, go out, but well, the real love of my life uh, maybe doesn't exist. So I said to him at the same time, I thought the same thing. Well, maybe I said to myself one day in my home, you know, looking at the garden, beautiful, with my dog, you know, crazy my dog, so maybe I should uh, be grateful for what I am already what I have, what, what I did, which is not little. I just forget the idea of finding the man of my life, the way I really needed to. How wonderful. And then two months later, three months later, we are getting married. How wonderful. A man. And we thought about the same time, the same thing, you know. Is that wonderful? I think uh, more than wonderful is uh, like a miracle. And I think uh, life is a miracle each day if we really know how to look at it. And I really feel so. And uh, it's not that I am very positive all the time because I, I'm angry with myself many times because I should be more positive because life is, uh, I think life gives us back what we put into life. I think the man is very lucky, you're very beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you very much. Let's take 1978. How did you become Miss World? What happened? Also, it was because I was sad. I had a relationship with this uh, Bolivian st uh, architecture student. And he, at that summer, uh, he had to go back uh, to Bolivia for one month. And I think uh, I, did, I did my exams in December. So I passed them. So I had uh, January and February free. And I think my mother saw me. I was 19 a little bit sad or really sad and I remember I was really sad like missing him and you know and then she uh, I think because she saw me that way she said look uh, this newspaper it was every day every weekend uh, this big newspaper was uh, making a contest it calls Mi Sierras de Cordoba and it was a really huge thing and she said I think you are more pretty than these girls and I said well, no, I don't know. I don't want to do it. So the last week she said, I think you should take some pictures. So I took some pictures in a pool with a photographer from the little place I used to live. And when he saw, he gave me the pictures, I said, oh, that, that's me. My mom is right because my body it could be this and that. So, uh, I look good, I look good. I look good on the picture. Did you say that to yourself? Yes, because it was like a long time since I didn't have my picture taken. So I'm not in bathing suits, you know, so I feel good with myself, but uh, I never thought it's uh, getting into a contest. I was, bec I was a teacher of music and conductor of choir, very young, 17 that I studied music all my life. And then uh, I started architecture and then I wanted to become an architect. 
And so it wasn't my plans to be a model or anything like that. So she convinced me and... Uh, Your mother did. Yeah, I let her to convince me, <laughs> of course. And then uh, I said, okay, I'll, I'll take the pictures. Because uh, next day it was closed. So I, I, I couldn't send it by mail. I had to take them. And so I took it. And there was this man from Buenos Aires that used to make a lot of contests. And he came down and he looked at the pictures and me. And he said, I think we got the winner. Oh, ha, 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 you know. Then when I left, I said, oh, these people from Buenos Aires, they are liars, you know. And then, uh, well, we had two weeks to rehearse. I felt each day much more comfortable. And then uh, we had 2,000 people at that special club. It's uh, like a pyramid, Keops, very famous there. And uh, now I can say it because it's... How long did uh, it take to get, like, to get to become Miss Argentina? Well, from March to, to no, no, Miss Argentina, two months. And then to Miss World uh, and six months. Just you like went to Miss World. Where was this? In London at the time. They sent you. The Argentinian yes. uh, government sent you. Yes. The Argentinian government? No. Or was it an institution? It you? was an institution. Uh, at was the it time. supported by the government? Well, uh, no, really, but it wasn't. Uh, the government was not against that because in Argentina they said there are many beautiful women because we are a mixture of many races. I have five: I'm Italian, English, French, Argentinian, German. and uh, so. So the mixture it makes a good combination. Th I don't say it. Huh? I I think so, but uh, people, foreigners, say it. And uh, but the government not really support is a private uh, company or group of it's people. It's a private private entity. Yes. That organizes this thing. Yes. We have the same thing in Asia. You went to London. Yes. How many participated in the? Uh, I think they the were contest? seventy-four or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but seventy-four, seventy-seven girls. Mm -hmm. And how did it go? Um. Very well. I mean, I felt that I, I was... Did um, you know, did you feel that when you went to London that you had the chance? Yes, sure. You were convinced you had a chance. I knew I was going to win. How do you know you are going to win? I, I, I'm glad now that it's so long it mm. has passed that I can say it mm. because otherwise I never mm. said that. Mm. I knew because I'm very intuitive and, uh, and I also I felt it, you know, like uh, it was a very big chance. Because um, I felt many of the girls were like plastic. Like in the morning, they had not so much common sense. In, in, in a way, I'm not saying they were not nice. No, they were very beautiful. I say, how could a jury choose an Oriental, a Chinese, beautiful one from a color girl from Africa and uh, uh, some girl from Sweden? So I said, which one is more beautiful? If they're all beautiful, it's a matter of a taste. And then I said, is they're going to look for the knowledge ah. and the common sense. Ah. What for me, what it was, was... It was not only the look. You need to be good looking, you need to be beautiful, but general knowledge is important. Is I never met a Miss World or Miss Universe that didn't have a degree in university, never. You have a degree? Yes. I'm Architecture. A, no, no. I studied three years architecture, but I, I was a conductor of choirs and, uh, you know, conductor of choirs yeah. and uh, teacher of music. And uh, now, at that time, that was a lot. Now, you have to have a degree. You have to be a lawyer and a doctor. You have to, that's why they are not 20. That's why they are 24. If you look, uh, most of them, they, have, uh, they are 24, so they, they have the time to to final their studies, to finish their to studies. To become this world, you need to have a, a good education. Yes, Your definitely. general knowledge need to be good. Yes. You need to be a person that is pleasant. You need to be a person that is good looking and beautiful. All